um, hard to win. And uh, told our guys uh, in uh, in our talk before the game that uh, playing Navy, this is the 88th edition of that, for those that were counting, um, is, is always going to be a challenge. And we knew this was going to be a challenge. Uh, we played uh, a lot of young guys on defense. And we were going to have to outscore them. And uh, that's what it ended up being, a game where we outscored them. And, and uh, like I said, it's hard to win um, in college football. So we're happy with the win. We're going to be a better football team because of what transpired out there tonight. Uh, we played a lot of young guys that got a chance to compete and find out what it's really like to have eye discipline and, and to be a sure tackler and to know your assignment uh, and, and do all the little things necessary to be a better football player. So we'll be a better football team um, because of tonight's win. And uh, as a coach, that's really all you can ask for is win a football game and, and then um, get a lot of young guys some experience and then not have to play Navy again until next year, <laughs> which is um, I challenge anybody to put these guys on their schedule. Everybody that um, you know thinks Navy is a, um, an easy team to play. It's a very, very difficult. You know, I got some smart defensive coaches back there. Bobby Elliott, one of the better defensive coordinators in the country in the, the 80s and 90s. He's, he's forgotten more football than I know. Um, Brian Van Gorder is an accomplished defensive coordinator at the NFL and college level. Mike Elston has been with me for a long time. These are really good coaches. It's hard to defend what they do at Navy. And um, my hat goes off to, to uh, Navy and their coaching staff. They do a great job on offense. And once again, uh, they did a great job. So with that. Coach, in the second half, Navy was rolling, putting up points. And at one point in time, you had three <coughs> freshman linebackers in the field. Those last two drives, you stopped them. It looked like it was Greer and Niles making a lot of plays. Can you just talk about how big it was to have those young kids step up and make plays late? Yeah, it was Greer, it was Niles, it was Drew, uh, it was Trombetti. Uh, and then our veterans out there were uh, Redfield, Jalen Smith, uh, Cole Luke, Anawalu, who you know, just came back from playing wide receiver. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they're running around and, and uh, they came off. You know, from the sideline, and we were asking them about uh, you know what they saw, and they were talking about their biology homework. Um, so, <laughs> you know, it was difficult, but uh, they persevered, hung in there, and, and fought their butts off. Any update on?